focus on playing arpeggios using rhythm. Now, this is something that often is overdubbed on pop records where you have someone playing chords. Actually, you'll often have somebody playing open chords and then somebody else will be playing bar chords and then somebody else will be playing arpeggios with rhythm. If you listen to some of your favorite pop songs, you're gonna find this. There could be up to six or seven different guitars on there, but we're just gonna focus on the arpeggio part today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some really popular chord progressions using arpeggios in a rhythmic pattern. So we're gonna play one, four, five on the fourth, third, and second strings. And it's gonna be one measure of the one chord, which is G, one measure of the four chord, which is C, and one measure of the five chord, which is D. One, two, three, four. Again. So that was one, four, five. Now we'll play one, five, four. One, two, three, four. Again. You'll notice we were jumping around a lot. You can also play them on different string sets, which I, I would encourage you to do. For example, you could play it all in this spot on the neck if you play a G here. Which you'll notice sounds the same as because that's how the guitar is constructed. That's just how it works. You can play the same note in two different spots, sometimes even more than two different spots. So I'm gonna play the same thing again. I'm gonna play it here using the fifth, fourth, and third strings. So that means my fourth finger is gonna be on G on the 10th fret of the A string. And then B is gonna be on the ninth fret of the D string. And D is gonna be on the seventh fret of the G string. So it'll sound like this. Again. Now we'll play the same rhythmic pattern using the 1-5-4 chord progression, all on the same string set. Let's do it again. Now I'll play everything in this spot on the neck and I'll move the G triad arpeggio shape to the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Sounds like this. Try it with other chord progressions, different string sets, see what you come up with, and get creative with it and see if you can apply it to songs that you play already. Mm -hmm.